Rate of Dissolving by Danny, Liv, and Sean. The measure of how fast the solute dissolves in a solvent. There are three factors. Temperature is the first factor in dissolving. So our experiment number one deals with temperature. As you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to have our two beakers of water. One will be hot and one will be cold. In each beaker, we'll have three pieces of sugar cubes. The hot water will start to dissolve the sugar cubes faster than the cold water. This demonstrates how temperature affects the rate of dissolving. So as you're about to see, as the, t as the particles in the solvent and solute speed up, they mix together faster. And now we'll show you our experiment dealing with temperature. Okay, so now this is our experiment. I have hot water on my left and cold water on my right. Now I'm gonna drop two sugar cubes in each beaker of water. I'm gonna stir both evenly and start the timer. As you can see, the difference in temperature will change the effects of the dissolving for the sugar cubes in each beaker. Now we're going to go to a close-up of the beakers. This is the cold one. Clearly you see the chunks. And back to the hot water, you can clearly see that most of it's dissolved and temperature clearly affects the rate of dissolving because with hot water it went so much faster. Conclusion. The higher the temperature, the faster the substance will dissolve, and that's temperature. The second factor is agitation. Stirring or shaking the solution removes the solvent that has already pieces of the solute and replaces it with fresh solvent. Okay, this is our experiment number two. We're going to take two beakers, both being the same temperature, hot water, and we're going to add three sugar cubes in each beaker. We're only going to stir one this time and we're going to watch how the one that we stir is going to dissolve the sugar cubes faster than the one that is left alone. So here Sean has two beakers and places two sugar cubes in each beaker. He only stirs one beaker. Both beakers have the same temperature and Sean is constantly stirring. As you can see, in the right beaker, the sugar cubes are still intact, but in the left beaker, the sugar is starting to break down and dissolve into the water. Slowly, on the right side, the cubes are breaking down, but with the help with the stirring on the left side, the sugar is almost completely dissolved. Conclusion. When the substance was stirred, it dissolved faster. The last factor of dissolving is surface area. The amount of surface of an object. Dissolving always occurs on the surface of the solute. Smaller pieces dissolve faster than larger pieces because there is more surface area exposed to the solvent. For our final experiment, we will be showing how the surface area affects the rate at which a substance dissolves. We will be taking two beakers and filling them both with cold water. Add three sugar cubes to each container. The left is the whole sugar cube and the right is crushed sugar cubes. Here you will see the crushed sugar cubes dissolve faster than the whole sugar cubes. Slowly the crushed sugar cubes will dissolve while the whole sugar cubes take twice as long. As you can see, Olivia clearly crushed up 
the three sugar cubes. And now she has a whole sugar cube and the crushed ones. With the help of an assistant, Sean, they will put the crushed sugar cubes and the whole sugar cube in the beakers of water. The two beakers have the same temperature of water. Now she'll evenly stir both beakers of water and you can see how surface area will affect the rate of dissolving. Clearly now we see that the crushed is dissolving much faster than the whole sugar cube. The opposite of dissolving. The change in temperature makes the particles sink to the bottom. This is called precipitation. Here Danny draws a container. The X's represent particles. Then she adds three ice cubes. This makes the particles sink to the bottom. This creates the precipitate. The end. You're crushing. Crush it like with some. Alright, I'm done. Go. This is dumb. I can't get it. The same amount of sugar. Pause. Into. And our first guest, a very well-known scientist, Danielle, the science guy. What? You can pause. Well, wait. Well, I'll just cut this part out. I'll just cut this part out.